welcome back if you're joining me from another video if you're joining me for the first time hello I have in front of me a my little pony equestria girl mini now I have not bought too many minis actually the first two minis I opened were from series two which was flash and DJ Pawn 3 the reason being that I heard many bad reports about these minis legs coming off we didn't find that um, we had any problems with our ones uh, hoping there's not going to be any problems so I went out and brought this I think this is a series 1 one um, play set which has rarity and Opal the cat and the main reason I brought this was because of Opal Opal just is spot on how most pedigree cats are <laughs> She's like, take care of me. I am a princess, don't you know? <laughs> she is just beautiful. So, um, my daughter had been looking at these sets for a while, and I'd put it off and put it off, and her for the same reason. We don't like toys that you buy and then they break. Nobody likes a toy that you buy and then they break. But when we got the Flash and the DJ Pony and they were fine, we decided to grab a few more so there will be a few more videos on these little so minis so let's get into it and see how easy it is to open pretty excited to open um, this all right so let's have a look at this set and there's so many look, little pieces and i'm not even sure where to start actually i'll start with the shelf now i have not taken the plastic off from around these powders and spray bottle as i actually quite like that it's sitting up there on display that makes it look really cool and it's not going to fall off the shelf if you throw it around so this is obviously a display shelf for makeup and hair products there is a hair straightener in there. a hair dryer or blower depending on what you want to call it some nail varnish in rarity colors of purple. I don't think yellow is a rarity color, but mostly purples. Oh, that's not gonna sit on that shelf. I'll put it over the next one up. An eyeshadow and blusher case. Oops, is that gonna get in the thing? Which is extra cool because it closes up like this and it has these little three diamonds on the front and what look like pony ears up here. That is a really cute little touch. This gorgeous perfume, French, I call it French perfume bottles because I've got a few perfume bottles like this and they're all French. Try and get it all on these shelves so I can show. Okay, so that's all the beautiful little accessories. Um, then there is this gorgeous crystal see-through with Rarity's crystal motif on the front that latches up. That is cute. I think that's my favorite accessory in the box, actually. I really love little things like this. Beautiful. My sister is actually a hairstylist, so she loves this sort of stuff. And there is a mirror there looking at the camera. I see you! <laughs> so there is a little mirror in this vanity with a bowl here for washing your hair in and tap, basin and taps, some shelves, and again, some little shelves up here also to put your things on. And these beautiful diamond motifs of rarities. Now let's get on to Opal, who is the reason I brought this set, because I think she looks like a Persian cat. If you've ever seen a Persian cat in the real world, they look like this. <laughs> now some of them are the most gentle, beautiful, natured cats you've ever met. But they have this look about them that they just aren't pleased with life. <laughs> Things are not going their way. And that to me is what Opal looks like. And she's got this beautiful bow on and this gorgeous neck piece. Of course, she had to be given the most gorgeous things because she is Rarity's cat. So let's have a look at Rarity and hopefully her legs won't fall off. Please don't. Whoa, she is very top heavy. She is so top heavy that holding her, her head is leaning back. Like you can feel the weight just going this way. So 
I highly doubt that Rarity is able to stand. No. No, I'm not even... No. That, that is not going to happen. So that is a, a bit of a shame. Um, I wish they'd included a doll stand of some sort, but look at this. Look at her hair with all these curlers in. She is the beauty queen of the sleepover. And all sleepovers must have a makeover. It's an essential part. Her eyes are looking off to the side. She has a little spray of pink lipstick. She has blue eyeshadow with nice arched eyebrows up here. Her cutie mark on the side of her cheek. Going down to this moulded clothes on her top. Now her bottom half is not moulded on. It is a simple skirt that comes together in a little button clasp there at the back. But it's a really cute looking skirt. Like they have grey and pink is actually so understated. Grey and pink goes together so well on clothes. With this gorgeous bow at the front here and a blue underdress. So it's almost like a grey bathrobe over the top with this little pink design on. And then she has matching grey and pink fluffy slippers. Because when you're in a slipover you need your slippers, especially if you're having a makeover. So this is really cute. Let's look at the articulation of the doll. The head does not, oh the head does not move. There is no wrist or elbow movement. It is just a shoulder movement. Uh, she does not have any waist movement. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be gentle with her legs because I've heard too many horror stories of them falling off. Her legs move front and back. Um, they do not move out this way too much. There is a knee joint in these ones as opposed to the equestria, the big equestria girl dolls where they don't have any knee joint. So she does have knee joints here. There is no ankle joint. So I really like her. I think these are cute. These are not dolls though that, um, this is not a doll that can stand up by herself though. <laughs> she is way too top heavy. This is really cute for a doll house. If you have a doll house and want your daughter or you're a little girl who wants cute figures for your doll house, this is a gorgeous little doll house figure and play set. Beautiful. I might actually buy my daughter another doll house. I think she has two now. So she needs so she needs because mummy says so and mummy has to convince daddy to provide it. <laughs> She needs a, a My Little Pony house now. If you love My Little Pony, please give this a thumbs up. If there is a particular My Little Pony Equestria Girl Mini you'd like me to review and have a look at, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to find it in the shops. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share, just to have a look at them before they go into my children's rather large and rather spoiled toy room where there are a lot of toys thanks very much for watching bye